Hi, I'm Dr. Casey Claypool here in Boston with Dr. Greg Parkhurst. And Dr. Parkhurst, tell us more about your paper that you presented today. Yeah, so my paper is about the revision optics corneal inlay. And this is a procedure uh, in a class of corneal inlay technologies designed to restore near vision for presbyopia. So how has the data been presented so far? Yeah, the, the results have been really exciting. Um, in my patient population, what I've seen is on average a gain of about five lines of near acuity. But the nice thing about this technology is that it does not result in any significant decline in distance acuity. So this is a very small 30 micron thick hydrogel inlay. It's 80% water and it's centered over the pupil only in the non-dominant eye. So therefore, it's basically a modified monovision approach to restore near vision. In that regard, the dominant eye is left for distance vision, whereas the non-dominant eye is treated for near. Outstanding. Now, have you had any patients hug you after this procedure yet? <laughs> it, 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 has, it has been a, a really rewarding procedure. I've done about 50 of them in my, in my own uh, practice now, uh, and patients are extremely satisfied with the results. Um, the paper results that we uh, present here at this meeting is basically regarding the central, the cent, excuse me, the centration of the technology. And it turns out that this inlay is extremely easy uh, to center. Uh, but what we looked at was would there be any decline in visual function or patient satisfaction if the inlay were slightly decentered from target? And what did you find with the paper? Yeah, so we reported 250 eyes and we separated them by degrees of, uh, excuse me, by millimeters away from centration. So we, we targeted the center of the pupil and we used a Tracy device with a wave scan uh, to separate the eyes that resulted in between zero and a quarter millimeter from center versus quarter to half millimeter from centration and then half to one millimeter away from center. And what we, what we reported in the paper is that 98% of the eyes were within one millimeter of the intended target of centration. Whereas, whether it was within a quarter, within a half, or up to one millimeter apart, the vision results were no different. So the technology is very forgiving if it's centered within one millimeter of the center of the pupil. Outstanding. Now, do you see the inlays shift at all over time, or do they stay where you put them? Over time, they stay where you put them. There have been a couple of cases of early decentration, like in the first couple of days post-operative. Uh, one thing that I really like about reversible and removable technologies like this is, uh, un, you know, unlike laser-based approaches, you can lift a flap and replace them or, or remove them if you need to. So in our series, in the two that slipped early, we were able to go back and reposition, and then they stayed put. Now, I know there's a lot of interest of this in the United States. Do you know when this will be more available or FDA approved or when they're looking to make this approved? Mm -hmm. Well, the phase three clinical trial is now closed. Um, so most of the patients in my center are now coming up on one year post-op. Other centers are getting closer to one and a half or two years out. It's a three year study. Uh, so we're hopeful that we may see this go to panel by 2016. Well, thank you, Dr. Parkers, for joining us here in Boston. And again, thank you for joining us on iTube Daily Coverage.